Hi, I just finished reading Who is Rich, a book by Matthew Clam, K-L-A-M, not the mollusk, and it takes place at a small New England college by the Atlantic, so I decided in honor of the book to do my review here on the shore. There's this is not a book with a big plot. It features Rich Free, uh, Fisher, a um, autobiographical uh, comic novelist, graphic novelist, who had minor celebrity in the past with his series of uh, comics, but they're out of print. And he's now a semi-celebrity who, whose remnant of fame is this annual arts conference where he goes to teach autobiographical cartooning. The rest of the time he illustrates for a magazine that's very reminiscent of The New Yorker. This is a book that has many things that are very reminiscent of iconic things in American culture, magazines, TV shows, awful. One of the, one of the people is uh, this millionaire that pretty much is destroying the culture by buying up the TV stations and turning it into drac and uh, very much a Rupert Murdoch kind of propagandist and ruiner. There's lots of ruiners in this book. Rich is married to Robin who, like Rich, is on the downward end of her career, no longer traveling the world to cover dangerous stories and dangerous people. Now she's doing depressing true crime docudramas that exploit sad and desperate people watched by sippers at couch potatoes to numb their minds. They're sad. And whatever passion they had in their marriage has been replaced by parenting. They love their kids. When they melt, they're melting over their kids, not over each other. And Rich has his summer bright spot, this conference where he gets to be sort of somebody, and uh, where he hopes to meet up with a woman he had a affair with the year before, one that um, an affair that continued throughout the year emotionally in ter in terms of emails and texts where the things that they should be sharing with their spouses they share with each other but I don't think they feel that they're cheating that much because their spouses aren't that interested and so it's nice for them to have somebody that actually cares what they think and how they feel and what's going on in their lives so that's kind of the story in a nutshell I mean a few things happen there's some um, sex there's you know cheating there's you know floating on a raft on a raft there's falling playing baseball there's you know assorted things that happen but the general plot is sad guy in a sad marriage in a sad affair with a sad woman and a sad wife so you think it's a sad novel, but it's not. It's funny. It is very funny. And it's delightful to read. The prose is beautiful. There's a scene where Rich has just put his son back to bed after he woke up in the middle of the night. But he knows from experience that his son is going to wake up again and start screaming again. So he's wandering the house waiting for her son to do round two and all of the worries the finances the estrangement of sorts with his wife just the unhappiness 
is wearing on him and he says and he says that you know he works that worry until it breaks apart like glitter is you know pros like that is 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 uh startling it's not something you're ever going to think about whoever thinks worry glitter no but there it is and it works and it was brilliant and it was just one little sentence amongst many brilliant sentences and paragraphs. Clan has a way of going from the specific and the mundane to these wild um, expository runs that take us into the future. Rich rides past a bar he smells the ketchup and the burgers and the mollusks uh, mussels and the beer and and then you know there's the specific there's the mundane and then he's going on to the maxed out credit cards and the stds this sad unhappy future he imagines from those smells and it's that kind of brilliance that really makes this a special book that I highly recommend. It is coming out on the 4th of July, published by Random House. I received an e-galley from the publisher through NetGalley, and I hope you try it, and I hope you enjoy it, and now I think I'm going to enjoy a walk on the beach. Goodbye.